Hi, my name is Tamara Ketchian. I am the owner of Wildwood Granola, a gluten-free uh, plant-based granola business. I bake out of a kitchen in Ansonia, Connecticut. I've been in business for a little over four years. So I've been making my own granola for probably about 10 years. I was just very unsatisfied with uh, the granola in the store, full of tons of like sugar and extra added like chemicals, things that are not necessary. Um, our whole food industry just took granola and destroyed it. So, um, so I started making it my own 10 years ago, handing it out to family and friends. A lot of people were requesting it. Uh, and then after um, my kids kind of grew up and didn't really need me anymore as a stay-at-home mom, not that they don't need me anymore, but didn't need me around as much, and I was starting to think about, you know, getting back into the um, workforce, I, uh, I kind of turned to my granola and thought, you know, maybe I can make a business out of it. So I started as cottage food, and uh, last summer I moved into a commercial kitchen. Uh, everybody's been super, super um, receptive, uh, which has been awesome because I have so many people. I do a lot of fairs and events, mar farmers markets, and a lot of people come up to me and they actually thank me for creating this product because it's very sensitive to a lot of allergy, uh, people that have a lot of allergies. So it's all gluten-free, it's plant-based, there's no dairy, no egg, no, I don't use peanuts at all. Um, so it's a lot healthier than the um, granola that, you know, has all that extra stuff in it. So a lot of people are very grateful that I created this product. They've been very supportive about my business. Um, and it's really nice uh, meeting other entrepreneurs who are also kind of in the same boat. And we, we share a lot and are very supportive of each other as well. So since I started uh, four years ago, I've kind of gone like almost all over the state. Um, but I do have some that I are I'm at more often than others. I love Co Coventry Farmers Market. It's on Sundays, 10 to 1 is my favorite. Um, it's the largest farmers market in Connecticut, even though it's a, like an hour drive for me. I have a huge customer base up there now. Um, it's very supportive of all the businesses. I also do City Seed in New Haven, which is a great market. Um, they are there to bring healthy uh, food product out to kind of the desert of food of healthy food and they really help people that are lower income and you know can get products out to them so that's a great market as well I've done the one in Milford I've done Trumbull so I've kind of like been all over trying to spread my brand so uh, so my favorite is the original nutty just as that's that's the one I started with um, kind of the impetus for all my other flavors um, the customers favorites is chunky monkey because that one's got dark chocolate in it um, and then I also have a couple nut-free flavors, which is great because there's a lot of people that really want to eat granola and enjoy it, but they can't because they can't have the nuts. And then I have one that's for uh, people that are diabetic, keto, or Whole30, which has no maple syrup at all and no oats. So I have lots of, lots of choices. I only use maple syrup from Connecticut. I have a um, River's Edge Sugar House up in um, Ashton, Ashford, Connecticut. They are the sugar house I use. And I only use maple syrup. I don't add uh, brown sugar, molasses, corn syrup, honey, no added additional sugars. So my um, sugar intake um, is really low on, those, on the serving size. It's probably like five grams or less. So it's healthier, it's low glycemic. Um, easy on your body you don't get the like highs and lows of sugar spikes as so, well I just started doing some wholesale um, so I'm getting out to some local stores um, which is really great because I now that I'm in this kitchen I'm able to get my product out to other people as a cottage food which I was for three years you're not allowed to sell wholesale um, through a third party so I'm getting out to other stores, so I'm making lots of connections with other local small businesses. Um, I'm using um, coffee beans for my coffee flavor from Sleeping Giant Coffee Roasters um, here in Woodbridge, Connecticut. So I'm doing a lot of like, um, I guess, community connections, I guess I would say. Um, I also have done like uh, fun school fundraisers. Um, people, you know, ask for donations a lot, so I'm always willing to donate. Um, you know, gift packages and gift certificates for different fundraising events as well. One of my reasons for wanting to get into a commercial kitchen, aside from getting my business out of my house and out of my hair 24-7, um, was to have the opportunity to sell my product into local um, stores. Um, more stores like farm, farm market stores, um, local specialty food stores that really promote local 
and um, want a connection and have a relationship with their vendors. So I am starting to get out into lots of local stores. I'm in um, a couple little farm markets, some in uh, Southbury. I'm in a little store in West Haven and New Haven. Um, so if there's a, a little store you think would be a perfect fit for my, my brand, please shoot me a message and I'll reach out to them. But um, I'm really enjoying uh, making connections with the, those local um, networks as well and getting my product out there. And they've been very supportive about helping to promote another local brand, woman-owned brand, which they love as well. So. so if you're interested in learning more about Wava Granola, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. I post all my events, uh, all the different farmers markets and um, events I'll be at, as well as all the new things I have going on with my business. I also have a website you can order from, wildwoodgranola.com. You can pick up locally or I can ship out nationwide. Thank you so much for listening to my uh, business story. And if, when you're ready to kick your sugar habit and eat some healthier granola that's good for you, come check out Wildwood Granola.